What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Armored Core Nine Breaker. We are training, training, and training. Uh, so I think we are doing overall. We did run. Okay, run in defense was the last. We did finish running defense. That's the escape one, right? Yeah. So defense and attack is next, which I'm assuming we're gonna want to have some weapons for. What's up, Billy? How are you? Am I ready for nine ball? I don't know, Piggy. I don't know. I do not know. We will see. Um, okay, so we need guns. The OST tracks in this game are all named after exercise routines. Bro, <laughs> really? That's actually hilarious. Uh, and appropriate. So we have a, not a lot of weight, actually, that we can actually put on our unit for this. I'm assuming, wow. Okay, we're gonna have to slightly modify what we're doing here then. We probably don't need to use the legs that we have on right now, honestly. Um, is Spectre right? Yeah, Spectre's right. Let's put some better legs on. What's up, Retry? How are you? I'm planning on diving back into Mobile Suit Gun and Battle Operation 2 when it releases on PC. I'm gonna try. I'd like to say yes, but I'm a little concerned that it won't run very well. Like, they're, like the server is bad. Um, if they fix that ish that problem, I would I would try. I would try it out. I would dabble again. Um what's the ability? These are actually more mobile. We'll put the Jaguar 2 on. What are it's cooling? That's fine. Ah, that energy drain is really not that much worse. Yeah, I think it's these are fine. Alright, we'll leave the build the way it is right now and just see how this attack and defend or defense and attack works. Um but yeah, I would I would venture to try out uh, battle operation 2 again i mean i really started to enjoy it i played it a lot for like a very small period of time on ps5 uh and it was a blast like i feel like i started to actually get good at it and then i quit playing it um i don't know why i just did <sighs> i don't like salt and vinegar chips i don't know if it's a hot take i don't like them anyways defense and attack level one uh this exercise is designed to test both attack and defense skills avoid being hit while targeting other enemy targets don't die I think I might be able to handle this. We shall see. I didn't warm up. Because <laughs> I need to warm up for these games. <laughs> uh, but I remember the controls. Your favorite this flavor is barbecue. Barbecue solid. Multiple skills. The objective is to destroy all enemy targets. Okay. Very close quarters here. Try to keep your AC out of harm's way. Oh shit. Oh, we could have brought something better to fight an AC. Let's begin. I just brought the rifles, dude. <sighs> mm. uh, this might be a little awkward. I would have brought... I guess it was, speed was not the goal here. I don't... Whatever, dude. We'll, we'll make it work. We are a fast boy, though. So is the goal really just to destroy everything? Yeah, we did not bring an appropriate build, but we know it. Honestly, hold on. Let's let's get out of here. We believe in you that, that believes in yourself. Did not right there. We're going to re re-kit the, uh, the Red Wing for this. This is not what I wanted to do for that. Yeah, that felt like a mission right there. Our goal is to kill everything, right? Am I correct in saying that? What's up, RP? How are you? Yeah, all, okay, every, we were killing everything then. Okay. So speed really isn't as much of a factor here. So we can do a regular build or closer to regular build. I'm almost wondering, I'm doing all right. We're gonna throw on this guy. And then we're gonna put our regular arms back on. We're, we're gonna get back to our regular, well, a version of the Red Wing build. Maybe not the exact version we normally run, but a version of it. Um, where are my good legs? <laughs> That's funny to say out loud. All right, Bumpy, good luck with the rest of your night. All right, here we go. Taki's the shore the cold. Uh, what is this? This is not what I want. We're putting Birdie back on. For energy consumption reasons that is fine that is fine that is fine we don't need these but then again would it hurt to have them the micro missiles on 
I'm wondering, I guess for a backup, we'll just bring missiles. It, it, it'll be good against, uh, for the AC later on. I'm wondering if we bring something better. Well, we used to run this. Let's run, let's do, we'll do this. Uh, we're gonna leave that, I like that head, we'll leave it on. Anyone ever use a Peloton bike here? You're considering getting one. Um, I've never used one and personally, I think they're a little overpriced. You can, there are other brands that make similar products that are much better priced. Don't ask me for names, I don't know, but there are definitely, there definitely are out there. All right, let's try this out. Dude, Red Wing looks pretty damn good right now. I like that, okay, anyways, not the arena. Okay. Um, yeah, if you're really actually interested in that RP, you could, there are other brands out there. Like Peloton is like top of the, top of the line. Um, Cause you have to spend, you know, thousands on the bike plus the membership each month to get the, uh, the trainings. And I think there are definitely better priced ones out there. I would look around a little bit. Just, just, just take a look and see what's out there. Cause you might find something better for the price. Yeah, you, you can actually, yeah, you can have the Peloton app on anything. It's literally an app, so that is not a bad, I wasn't even thinking about that. That's a good idea, actually. I would recommend doing that over buying a Peloton, though. This mission layout is very awkward. I want to save, um... Oh, there's the enemy AC. Okay, let's fuck him up. Alright, micro-missiles might not be ideal for this location. I he overheated me really fast. Oh shit. I'm not good at fighting in closed spaces like this. God damn. Okay, 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 that's not gonna work. Defense is damaged. Halting combat. So that is a better deal, RP, for that price point. I'm sure it works fine too. Need a sword. We always need a sword. It feels like that's that, that's, I say that more than I don't say that. Oh, what's up, Connor? I didn't see you there. There you are. Um, but yeah, I would look into other brands personally, or just buy a regular bike and do the get the Peloton app. Dude, do you think that? Do we think that the handgun build could could handle this? I feel like it might be able to. Honestly. Do you have optional parts on? You're good to go. Let's try that. That actually, that AC fight was actually difficult, man. He blew me up pretty quick. Oh, sorry. If you heard that. Um, I have an exercise bike too. I actually, I don't. I got rid of it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a big biking person though. But I, but I agree though, the seat is, is key to this because you'll be sitting on it. So you want it to be comfortable. I don't like this map. And we're gonna be on this map a lot, I take it. Let's just take it slow through this first portion here. And Kind of mind our ammo, I guess, because we don't really have that much. I forgot that happened. Shit. Honestly, hold on. Let me. Let's let's do some missiles for this.
If there's no time requirement, we can just take our time here. Are the missiles not hitting that? No, they are. It just takes a lot. I don't... Maybe, the, maybe dual machine guns would be, would be better for this area. Maybe we try that. Warning. AP at 50%. I'm about to bring a tank for this fucking dude. AP at 10%. Wow, okay, hold on. That's not going to work. Defense Dude, I don't. Damaged. All right. Halting combat and returning to base. We're gonna need a unique build for this, um, to do this properly. <sighs> uh, let me think. We could go for something like uh, it's level one too, which is the worst part. But obviously, once we get it done, the uh, the time just shortens or the thresholds change. Yeah, it's a damage raise at the end, which the handgun build is good at, but I don't like that map. It's awkwardly laid out. I mean, what do we have we do have tank options here. Oh no, we don't. That's right, we don't. Okay, um, we might we're we're, we're gonna have to actually get good for this fight, I think. Like, there's no way around it. Like, we're gonna have to play well to do this. Um, all right. Well, we can, we can only thick boy it to a certain extent, though, which is the problem. Rockets could work for, for stationary targets also. We have some rockets available to us. Um, that puts us our AP way higher. Do we want, all right, hold on. Our carry weight is only 6,300 though, so it's really not that much better with those legs on, which is kind of surprising. You think it would be? It's not. I'm thinking dual machine guns actually might be better here. What is that? Oh, energy machine gun. Yeah, this might be a, a slight problem. Or we do it overweight. That is an option too, but I don't think it's gonna be a good option. Um. The Karasawa rifles might be good here, um, but to do that, yeah, the the that's not a bad idea, Billy. The blade might be the way to go to actually do this fight. I'm wondering if we take everything else off, if we can actually. We don't need a radar for this. I don't. I I, I can handle it without a radar. And we don't need our missiles either, because I don't think missiles are going to be very useful in here, because it's too close, of, it's too um, small of a space. Um, where's the cell on it? So there we go. That. Dude, we might just rock this. We'll put a, a head with a radar on, though. This, there's no radar, right? Auto map provided. Radar functionality, none. Um, I think that one of these. Where's I at? Where's I? Where the hell's I? Did I pass it up already? I must have passed it up already. There it is. You have radar injury. Yeah. This might be the way to do it. Your respawn chair is pretty comfortable. Gaming chair with a lot of traditional recliner. Influences big pattern armrest and cup holder. Leg rest comes a little higher, but you get why it doesn't. Yeah. If I ever... I, I like this DX Racer. I've had it for like six or seven years. I, looking back now, probably wouldn't have bought it, um, but I would buy an office chair now, like a, like a ergonomic chair, 100%. Uh, this is probably not going to work at all, but I'm going to try. <laughs> 
Yeah, but in college for a while, I had an L desk in college and I had my PC underneath the one L side before and I was always terrified that if you spilled a drink, it would definitely drip down through the, the crease in the L right onto the computer. Thankfully, it never happened, but it was always a concern. I eventually moved it, obviously. All right, I think we try to blade the beginning bullshit. Really? That's kind of surprising. I did not think that... uh. It would take more than one shot to break that guy or to kill it. Wait, can how many shots from the Karasawa will this take? More than one. Okay. I missed one. Oh, where, where are you at? There you are. <sighs> All right. Well, that was closer. Halting combat and returning I think we put on the spare energy. And we can uh, manipulate, we, not manipulate the turrets, but let them fire, then, then blade them. I'm surprised the butter knife didn't do as well there. Uh, I, thought, I thought it would one-shot them. It has higher overall damage than Moonlight, right? Now you see the ins where the inspiration for Cap or Demon came from. Okay, so 1886. It does, yeah. Huh, all right. Yeah, I don't... The the build they're using is actually pretty simple, too. I think it just has rockets and, like, like rifles or something like that, but it overheats you really fast. <clears throat> I think that, uh... We can do this, definitely. If we had the extra energy right there, I think I would have felt a little better. Now, we are going to overheat pretty easily, too, which doesn't help. But the only other option would be to uh, go overweight and try this. But I feel like we'll get screwed by the turrets if we do that. All right, let's, we, we're not on a time frame here, so. I'll wait. Try the manual blades. Flame Lurker is Horaloo. <laughs> wait, what do you mean manual blades? What are you talking about? Oh, the parry blades. Oh, God. <laughs> you, no, no I'll, I'll just speak from... That's not going to work. <laughs> I'll never touch him. Are you serious? Come here, guy.
Yeah, that was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Whew. Mission objective achieved. System switched to normal. Mode. Dual World Ogre and Karasawa, that would be a good idea. Yeah, I'm not gonna, we're not going for, uh, for gold here anymore. We're just getting it done. Uh, that was scary. That was the first mission in this, in this tier, so. Not a good look. Alright, what's different about this one now? Well, it's gonna change. I guess we'll bring the same build and just see what happens for now. If it's an enemy AC at the end, which it probably is going to be being that rank one was, then we're going to need, well, it could be a different style of defense and attack. I don't know. We'll see. The real armored soul starts now. Apparently so. Because that training mission right there was harder than all the other ones we've Targets done at this point. This exercise attack more frequently. Oh. Okay. Seek cover behind obstacles as needed. Making you take cover isn't hurt, is not heard of, unheard of, that's the word. Who takes cover in Armored Core games? Come on now. We're gonna need a little bit of luck, obviously, to do this as well. We can, can we open the top doors? Oh. Okay, it's the same layout then, I think. Okay, they still fire the same amount. Or maybe a little more. Oh, uh, the cooldown between... Okay. They're also stronger, maybe? No, they're not. Like, why that... Why... Dude, fucking from software and these janky ass hitboxes. If you're taking a cover in armor core, that means your AP is less than 10%. Yes, pretty much. The only other option, we could go dual machine gun with the machine gun um boy, whatever his name is, I can't think of it. The, the, the core with the machine gun uh, orbit, that could be really good. Let's do, you know what, we're gonna do that. That, that. that, the amount of burst we can put out with two machine guns might be enough. And we'll bring, or maybe we don't bring the, the orbit and we just uh, put dual fingers on. What's up, Kenny, how are you? Or, or I've, I have another, well, it's a low ammo idea that we need, we need, the thing is we have, to, we have to kill everything without running out of ammo too. So there is that little wrinkle as well. What's the, same attack power, okay. We're on nine breaker, I'm not sure. Out of how many though? The nine, thank you. Oh, huh. nine breakers number nine. That actually is kind of clever. Did not realize that beforehand. Uh, all right, so ammo, 160, 220, 150. Attack power is 77 versus 240. We'll go for more attack power. And then we're gonna swap the core out and the legs for something a little more reasonable. I think we actually go for this guy, well, What's our total AP at? It's a little better as hangar units are provided. We'll do that. Pointy boy. And then give me different legs. We'll go for the other. I mean, honestly, the legs we had on were probably better in general anyway. All right, we have plenty of weight left over here. Everything else is good. Where's Big Zam? I don't think Big Zam, we, we can't actually build Big Zam now because I don't have the right parts in this game anymore to do it. Now the question is, we have, do we have any, we, you know what we do have, we have useful stuff actually. We're gonna put shields on. Uh, these are side shields, so yeah. 
These are regular side shields, not not activatable, right? I think so. Celebrate winning this game with American cheese at the true delicacy of the world. Alright, so that'll work for that. Um, I mean, missiles could just be nice to have, I guess. But let's do our hangar units first so we have enough weight. I'm thinking we're doing... I think I have all the, the right parts for dual fingers. Yeah, I do. That's like our last ditch effort. We need to blow up something really fast, which is basically what we need to do at the end there. Um, they're only 240 apiece. So they're going to burn out fast, which is okay. Um, we can't kneel down, so most of that shit's out, out of the question. Um, maybe the triple missiles and... What else can we fit on that could be useful here? Rockets could be useful. Let's bring rockets. I This is so weird for me, but we're going to bring uh, rockets. This version of Red Wing looks pretty dope, too. <laughs> we're going to try to finger them to death. That is what's about to happen. Oh, wait. Optional parts. All right, all of our regular defensive stuff, stability, generator, condenser, sight lock size, maybe. I'll think about that. Well, we don't really turn that much, but it's always good to have. We need cooling. So no, we'll, we'll just do that. We don't, we can't fit on the uh, sight lock. It's three slots. All right. And it's a pretty horizontal playing of a battlefield or whatever you want to call it. But, so it doesn't really matter for uh, horizontal aiming. Now, too bad the rocket machine gun is in here. I know, right? That would be very useful here. I'm going to try to use the rockets to take out the uh, the turrets. We'll just see how it goes. I love... There, there's a lot of really awkward invisible walls. Dude, first one down. Only took about 500 damage right there from one one volley. Not too bad, right? I think that missed. That hit. What? They said take cover, so we're taking cover. I'm getting anxious here. I don't want to wait. I mean, the LX cannon would be good, but I can't. I'll have to kneel. Well, I guess we could use it on a quad leg. I do like this trick. It's going to be annoying for repeating this mission over and over again as we keep losing, but this is kind of funny right now. working though. Apply a matrix. Come on. A little high. There we go. Nope. Yep. This might be what they actually want you to do for this mission, which is the funny part. Okay, so we have machine gun and honestly, we could have. We I have a better idea. If we if we lose, you have a better idea. Oh, he's up there. You want to fire again really quick? Thank you. Oh, it's a fucking tank. Oh, dude, we can blade him. 
100% could do that here. Yeah, we could definitely use blades in, on this fight here. All right. Got him. <laughs> oh, the fingers for the win. They were almost out of ammo right there, too. System switched. Mode. That definitely was not the ideal way to do this. Yep, Kenny, we're going to play the next six games as well. Yeah, we're basically playing on, well, on a harder version of this game because we don't have, like, most of the parts we should have right now. So we have, like, less options for customization, which is why I'm doing this shit right here instead of just going for a thick boy. All right. The fans avoid... All right, let's just see what the difference is for this one. <clears throat> the deadliest game of peekaboo. What's up, Sharks in Space? <laughs> yeah, this is not the ideal way to do this. I didn't realize that importing a save would not give us all the other parts the game normally would give you. But it will be nice going to Last Raven with, with these parts, at least. I don't know. It's fine. Aerial units have been deployed for this exercise. Well, we're not using rockets against them. But if there are turrets, we'll use them. Prioritize target selection as you move through the enemy's ranks. Let's begin. The build looks badass, though. I will say that. Oh, they might die really quickly. Hold on. We might not need to waste missiles on this. Oh, it's a turret. Oh god, oh, there's so many of them. Of course, how does one, a triple missile volley not kill this thing? Oh, I think they're missing. All right, five more targets, one being an AC, I assume. Yeah, Kenny, the map is one of the, the map's the hardest part of this challenge, honestly. Places for your AC to get stuck and stutter a little bit. Do not hit me. I feel like I'm, I'm using a bow and Dark Souls to snipe mobs before I get too close to them. All right, so let's go ahead and drop that. All right, what do we got in here? All right, regular type enemy. Oh, okay, hello, flamethrower. Nice to meet you. Thankfully, it doesn't matter. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, that went a lot better than the last two. Collision physics hell, seriously. Mission objective achieved. System switch. Hell yeah, Kenny, congrats on the interview. I hope it goes well. You feeling pretty confident about it?
Is that a silver? Hell yeah. What's up, Tetsu? How are you? Hey, new training program. Overall single. Is it like the 1v1? The 1v1? Single target encounter training regimen. Okay. Uh, should we just go ahead and do this one? Or should we... You know, we're going to do this one. Let's try it. We'll, we'll, I'm not changing the build. Uh, we'll see how it goes. The rockets probably could go away for this, but I'm going to keep them on just because I don't care. Um, worst case scenario, we can always do double finger. Just drop our main weapons and go for it. But we'll do this one out and see if we unlock the final. This exercise will test one-on-one -on -one combat skill. Destroy the target as quickly as possible. Shotgun. Complete the task before. Why is it breathing like it's a fighting game character? Why is the AC breathing? Let's begin. <laughs> kind of nervous because it's a tax assessor job. I don't really know what that does, Kenny, but hopefully it goes well for you. I feel like I should know what that job entails, but I have no idea. Oh, it's a speed trial. Okay. I think. Okay, why? What is this about, Mr. Aggressive? Holy shit. I know you need a bias sensor for this AC. Is our job to survive, or what, what is the goal here? I didn't read the goal. I have no idea what we we're actually supposed to do there. Combat and returning to base. That was a cool OST though. Oh, we're supposed to kill them? Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna change. we'll do something different then. Um From what you know of the job, it would assess how much a person pays in taxes based on land and house values. Gotcha. I mean that is so is it it's more like it's an office job, right, Kenny? So that wouldn't be that bad. Like I, like, what is the human interaction level on that? Like, do you have to go talk to people about this? Because that, that would be kind of hard. I like nerve-wracking, I feel like, a little bit. Uh, where is the gun that I'm looking at? Oh, it's, on, it's a right-hand weapon, I think. Okay, well, if we're going to do this, let's, let's just try to go all out here and run out of ammo really fast and then lose. History major, hell yeah, Kenny. That's what I was almost about to do um, before I pivoted. This is not gonna work out in any way, shape or form, but we're gonna do our best. Actually, it could work out. Hold on, let me... We should have a little extra weight to throw around here. Probably not enough for what I want to do though, because it never is. Oh, it is actually. All right, we're going to see what this can do. We'll start with the vert, the, uh, the vertical missiles and micro missiles, and then we'll switch over to our machine gun barrage and if i can stay locked on it'll be fine but they're actually moving pretty fast right there i didn't put optional parts on which is gonna be a problem but it's fine we'll we'll, we'll try it once then go put them on Come closer! God damn it. We have non-existent turning speed right now. Oh, they drop ECM bullshit too? What? Wow, dude, what a dick. It occurs to me, it occurs to you that with science, calling yourself just a science major would be considered weird, but history being just as wide doesn't have people saying they're a myth. Uh, they are Mesopotamian majors or Indus Valley majors. Oh, you're saying like they don't, people don't actually like point out the 
part of history they're, they're they uh specialize in that's a good point yeah like for example the one history professor that i had a lot of college specialized in like the medieval era like crusades and stuff uh but that he was just like he never like he told us that but i feel like that's not how you present yourself to somebody uh when you're in that like you know being a history professor what did i want to change did i want to change oh optional parts What's up, Tam? How are you? Stability generator. We'll put missile lock on and then cooling. And I think turning ability is more important here. It's slightly different than what we normally do, but it might be good enough. I'm not sure if the missiles actually were useful there or not. I'm thinking that maybe regular missiles might be better for this. By re regular, I mean like uh, micro missiles. So not regular. Here we go again. These last couple are actually really hard, which is kind of cool, but also like, oh no, what are we gonna do? It's been one hour and we've done three, four missions, three, three missions. <laughs> All right. What is going on with those missiles? Why are they firing that? Why do they make that noise when they fire? And why are none of them hitting? Wait. Better. <laughs> Feels like Comrade invested now? <laughs> what do you mean? That would have worked. So I'm not really sure what the deal with those other missiles from Kisaragi were that we have on, but they did, they were firing. I don't, I don't, it was like misfiring. I, what, like, what is that? They, they were shitty. They weren't good. What is what is the deal with these missiles, guys? Homing enhanced micro missiles. They were not. They were worse. How are they advanced? I'm gonna go dual Karoras and do better. We don't need both for the record, but we're doing both. If we would have just used our regular micro missiles from the start, I think we could have won that fight there a lot easier. Because those other missiles were not hitting, even though they're advanced homing. They were like off course. I don't. I don't. I don't know what that what was going on there. So Kenny, that's actually a thing in Last Raven. Blowing parts off and whatnot. Actually, not close. But. Halting combat and returning to base. <sighs> okay. It's kind of like fighting Zenata, but I feel like in some way it's worse. I 
mean, I don't think the other missiles were doing anything. They didn't seem like... Well, you know, wait. The advanced homing missiles, do you see the same indicator when you fire them? Like, can you see the, you know, the propulsion on the missiles the same way? So maybe they were firing and I wasn't noticing them. I don't know. So that won't work, Kenny, because we don't have the right... We have such a reduced subset of parts because I imported from Nexus that uh, I don't have a lot of the stuff that I think would normally uh, work here. Wait. Let's try something. We could do... <laughs> Let's try something out. I don't know how it's gonna work, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. It could be interesting. You finally have 6k uh, channel points after losing them all. Okay. <clears throat> it would be possible, Kenny, if we had a tank. Well, we could... Pr he jumps around a lot. I mean, yes, it's that is definitely a thing we could do. Can I do it? I don't know. Um, we're going to try something that uh, all of them mentioned before, is trying to use these echidnas to, to, to uh, do some crazy damage really fast to enemies. And it worked. I always doubt Aldo's advice, and it always works. <laughs> it started with Blueberry, now it's the Echidnas. We actually should have dropped them after we fired the two shots from them to reduce weight. But yeah, those are really strong. They're just pursuit missiles. Is all they are. They're mini pursuit missiles. All right, what's different about this one, I wonder? I like how these are less than a minute long a piece. Like, they really want you to burst everything down as fast as humanly possible here. Which is kind of how most AC fights go anyway, but... I bet it's a tanky boy now. I'm feeling tanky boy with, with like, big guns. The target in this exercise is wow, AC surprise, surprise! Why is it breathing? They're all breathing. To beat the clock. Let's begin. Yeah, Kenny. That that fight was similar to how Zanata is in the last Raven, honestly. Okay. I think in this case we go for the micro missiles. Um, 
because he won't move around as much, we can definitely abuse it a little more and stay further away. But for a target that's harder to lock onto, that definitely, the echidnas definitely were a good strategy. Honestly, vertical missiles might not be bad against this guy either. I will go for the direct micro missile. Well, mm, I don't know. What is the damage? Let's see. What is the damage per missile on the vertical missiles? Eleven ninety. What is the damage on? We're gonna go with vertical missiles here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw assist missiles on too. With the echidnas, it didn't make sense though because they're pursuit missiles and they fire a little differently. Um. I think we go all verts, this vertical missile barrage, and just see how that goes. And it probably would, would behoove us to put something on with a little more ammo. I don't know, Billy. We're getting close to the nine ball, I know that. You know what I want to run? There is something I want to try really quick. Um, there is another weapon here somewhere. It's this one right here. It's super low ammo, but I think it does really good damage. And then we only we only have one, right? Do we have two? We have one. Okay. I'm gonna try something out here. This could work out really well because I think all this stuff we have on does a lot of damage. Can't wait for three hours of nine ball like in another age. Was it three hours? It was like two hours. Come on now, guys. Give me a little, little credit here. Are they missing? How are they missing him? So that little pulse rifle, I think throws out a shit ton of damage for the record. System switched to normal mode. Only 30 shots, but I'm pretty sure it hits really hard. Yeah, those verts were not working. We don't. It sucks. I don't have the dual back, uh, like forward firing missiles. All right, let's just see what it is. We have thirty-five seconds, though. This is a very, very quick fight. So I don't even know if missiles are a good idea here, being the fight goes so fast. It's probably going to be a hover boy. The AC in this exercise right. equips long range weapons and is highly mobile. Oh, this would be so annoying. Why is it breathing? Stop breathing. You're a robot. Strikes. This looks horrible. Horrible. Let's begin. Oh, we're moving. Our arm moved right there. You see that? I can deal with that. That wasn't as bad. Mission objective achieved. Asthma. System switched to normal. He got stuck on the pillars, which is kind of funny. Give me that gold, baby. It's probably silver. Some poor animator spent five hours on that animation. Hey, got a gold. Nice. 
Melee. Yuck. Multi-targeting counter training regimen. What the hell are you supposed to do here? Wait. Do you have to use blades? It doesn't say to use blades. Here it is, let's go. What do you mean here it is? Oh, melee in the conventional sense, okay. Multi-target combat is the focus of this exercise. Secure the starting area to gain access to the target. Complete your objective before time runs out. So it's like a mission then. We're just doing a mission now. Let's begin. Are those enemies little floaty boys? I don't wanna, this build is not gonna be good for this at all. Okay, no, they're not. I think a regular Red Wing build would be better for this than what I have going on right now. I mean, it's essentially a mission build that I normally use. Yeah, because it's like... Oh. Yeah, hold on. Let me get out of here. We're going to go with the regular Red Wing build because it's, it's built for fighting MTs and stuff during a mission, so I think it'll be better here. Now, I could be biting myself in the ass, you know, once we get into, you know, the enemy AC fight, but we'll see. Anyways, before we, re we uh, rebuild the Red Wing, we're going to wrap up this episode for YouTube right here. As always, guys, thank you for watching. We are nearing the end of Armor Core 9 Breaker, and... It is going at some sort of pace, so I guess that's good. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!